I'm going to perform and do all these things because that's what I'm the world and people are going to go, what? That's the world I create. Cool. And I don't care what anyone says to me. And if friends fall by the wayside because they think I'm cuckoo and they would rather go down the fear road, bye. Because yeah. I'm not going there. No. You know, good. and uh, that's, that's the, yeah, it's quite good to talk about it all because we are on the verge of something, you know, and I, that's my my feeling. And I, I, I'm not talking from some cushy point, you know, because I live in the nature and I don't have to be faced with it. I'm living in the city after heart surgery and after big surgeries and being alone by myself and doing all these things. And I, I've been given those messages and that's why I'm mm. sitting here looking good. In <laughs> short <laughs> <laughs> yeah. again, you know, so people might call me cocky, but fuck it, I'd rather no, be cocky than you dead. Have, you have cool hair. <laughs> yeah, I What's did that? more dying. On no, 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 but you have like coke. Oh, but... Cock? It's called cock? In, in Polish it's called cock. <laughs> no, it's not cock. <laughs> I don't have a penis on my head. No. <laughs> Shit, not How the last called? time I checked. I didn't anyway. <laughs> Ponytail Pony. or butt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You have a cock on your head. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry. It's a Polish English. <laughs> That's fantastic. You, you know something about it. Come on. <laughs> No, Adam never talked about that. He never told me he had a cock. <laughs> he said a, he said a few things because the Polish, Polish. I always say that Polish people are great. You know, they just have a different way about them. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> But ponytail, ponytail or bun. Your now, ponytail now it's a great. bun. Yes, it's a bun because I. It's a bun. I I did something Maybe. with it, and I've got dreadlocks. Because it has many shapes inside. Yes, it has. You see and that some things they're hiding. I, yes, and I've got <laughs> dreadlocks myself, oh. and so I kind of mixed it with some other stuff and. Cool. Created my own thingy bob. <laughs> cool. You have a lot of jewelry. I have, and I didn't tell you what that was yet because I talk a lot. You've met your match, haven't you? He's like, shit, you know, I like to interview people, but this one, she talks a lot of things, man. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're the winner, I think, <laughs> until now. This is, uh, oh, God, it's a hard one. It's called an Oregon. Oregon. And there was a doctor, a German doctor called Dr. Reich, and he did lots of experiments. And he realized that if you compressed inorganic and organic materials together, don't ask me how he built this box and this yeah. is what he did, that it will protect you, the, the energy field, from all this stuff. Okay. And from rays and from other things. And it also is healing mm. because it's trapping chi energy. Mm -hmm. And this, and when you, when you compress inorganic and organic materials together, it emits a signal, I mean, which there? is a fact. So what you have to do is uh, the crystal is uh, can I touch organic. It? No. Okay. The can crystal, you show it to the camera? But actually you can, yeah. They say, they see what's there. So, so what you do is you compress. Okay. This one I made myself because you can order these on eBay. And, okay. I, and you can see it, but I think they just threw it in there. So I wanted to make my yeah, own. Yourself. So I did. So the crystals, cr like crystals like quartz, quartz and other crystals are piezoelectric. Yeah. Which means when you compress them, they give a signal. When you compress them? When you compress them with like like they are now, uh -huh. they start okay. to em emit like watches. That's what watches does. It's grinding on the crystal. Mm -hmm. What runs a hand, so it's mm -hmm. got energy. And so you have to layer it. So there's organic, which I think, is that right around? Yeah. The crystals are organic. Mm -hmm. And the copper is not organic. So you must layer them. And when you press these things together, you create this organ, which is, and you have there? to read what's about the form? it. What, what is it made from? Copper. The, so you have to have metal. The metal. This but, is, this is this acrylic. The this is acrylic. Okay. So um, but you can get quite toxic acrylic to work with, but this one was quite good. Okay. Some people make giant ones for their gardens, massive things, and put it in buckets and have big copper poles, and they place them in okay. their gardens, and it protects your home. So they call all gone. Then so you can your, read about it's, it. It's like your how it's called. It's like some some, some amulet. Well, it's more. It's actually physically doing something. It's uh -huh. protecting my field, so okay. called. It's protecting my field from sucking the energy from EMFs and all of this stuff. And orgones are supposed to do this because it it is actually emitting a signal because I've done this compressing. Okay. 
And so I made them myself, and I have the ones that I bought from Amazon around the house, but I decided to make... Mm. Organ, I made for, organ. Like I don't organ. know, organ the, is something to do with... Hmm? Or, like gold? No, Latin? because you can use different metals. Some people, you can just mm. use steel. Okay. But copper is very good, and I mm. use. Co I went to this, this big um, art shop in Moritzplatz, mm -hmm. and I went there, and I bought all the ingredients. Uh, well, the crystals, not. I went to the crystal shop, and I bought all everything else, the copper and everything in there. I made a spiral too. Took me like a day because you have to wait for it to dry and then layer and mm. layer it. But cool. some people make giant ones, and like I said. Big ones for the garden. So you're keeping keeping it with yourself. Yeah, I do. I carry them all the time. Yeah. I I, ca I carry them in my pocket, and I, I like I said, I'm one of these people. If I read about something, I want to try it, and I want to see if it works because I believe if there is EMF, then there is something to protect you from What's it. What's EMF? EMF is the signal from yes, from all the phones and stuff. Uh, it's a sickness that people are supposed to go through. Um, mm, yeah, that, that, that hyper yeah, and and it's a real. It's supposed to be a real thing, and I can understand it. But uh, I think also we are quite powerful, and I think that if you spend too much time thinking about these things, then then you look the science. This is uh, science and spirit, quantum physics. Yeah, they did an experiment. They said that if you observe, and they did it. If when they mm. observed the atoms, when the atoms knew they were being looked at, they yeah, behaved they in a different yeah. way. I know, I know. This is sure, right. this is if, you, if I would be an atom, I would. Do the same. Yeah, but but this is mind blowing. So, yeah. if you concentrate on the thing, yeah. okay, people do this. I mean, maybe people say it's safe. You have to go and have a cancer check once a week, once a month. Mm -hmm. If you start looking for fucking things all the time, they're going to come. Yeah. So I'm torn between this road of this because I believe this. I believe that if you start to look. Mm. You know, like they're always checking my blood and now I realize I don't do that all the time. I just communicate with myself and, you know, but if you're constantly looking for something that isn't there, it's going to come.